Hey everyone, it's Gardening with Dave. Today I'm going to teach you how I used an existing sprinkler head to create this automatic irrigating that I have around my trees using drip emitters. The hose that I'm holding here is a quarter inch. Every six inches there is one drip emitter and in theory I should be able to not only save water, I'm going to eliminate the area that I might be retaining weeds and from what I've been reading, um, we can use this type of a drip emitter because most of the time the roots are not actually absorbing all the water as they do have runoff. All right, guys, let's get started. Now, the first thing you should be doing is identifying the sprinkler head that you have existing. Lily here is in the back. I got another shot of her just hanging out, looking at the berries that will be setting up an irrigation as well. I am fast forwarding right now. Uh, you just want to dig some trenches. Be careful with the PVC pipes that may be underground. These are delicate pipes, so make sure you don't break anything or you're going to turn this 30 minute job into a couple of hours. Um, in here, we're just going to be digging around the area. Uh, I'm no longer having grass in this section. As you can see in the background, I am going to be using mulch. So let's get to the next shot where I'm giving you a little bit of a close up. Okay, over here, guys, this is going to be the attachment that I'll be using. What it is, it's a half an inch threaded pipe that I'll be replacing the sprinkler head. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna allow me to put in some quarter inch emitters that I'll be reallocating it over to a tree, uh, four of them. So what you're gonna do here is lefty loosey, remove this out, there's some water, and we're just gonna tighten it up, uh, righty tighty. Uh, we're gonna use some pliers shortly, but for now, use your hands. Oh, there we go. Uh, every single cap here will allow me to take off this little end cap and you'll be getting a quarter inch emitter going to a tree. For now, we are done here. All right, so I went ahead and I got my quarter inch drip tubing. This is a repair kit that I bought from Home Depot. All I'm gonna do is grab some of the hose and make its way out here. I'll put the camera down while I grab some of these materials. Okay, let's see, in this angle here, we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove one of these caps and since I only have a few I might end up getting some hot water if I run into issues here if you guys don't know about the hot water technique definitely watch one of my first videos about setting up an irrigation so here all we did is grab the hose we snipped off a little bit at the end and I removed the cap from the original fitting so now that I removed the cap it should allow me to go ahead and insert this hose now, <clears throat> I haven't really used these in the past. I just started trying these out to see how well they work. And now that we've put the hose in, we're gonna be running it into this tree that we have down here. I'm gonna put the camera down and I'm gonna just do a rough estimate and cut the cord as we are gonna be using some drip emitters next. Now that I've cut the cord, I will be running this underground and we're gonna go ahead and snip the cord maybe about lengthwise as I'm going to show you what I'll be doing next. This is what we're going to be using for now. Uh, so what we're going to do here is once we identify how far away we're going to go, we're going to plug in the main one so we can get the water coming in. Every six inches they will be having some small water coming out apart. So what I plan on doing is I'm going to use the, the size of the tree to determine how far the roots might be. As I mentioned, if this doesn't come out perfect, it's okay. I'll just redo it again. So I think this is gonna be a reasonable size. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and cut it here. And now that I've got the size that I'm looking for, we're gonna go ahead and use that attachment that we talked about earlier. Now that I've got my circle, I'm just gonna go ahead and find out how far away I need to cut this so I can unite this and we are done with the first tree. Hopefully this is at a better angle and all we're gonna do is insert this tubing in. And there you have it guys. If everything looks well, give me a few. I'm gonna go ahead and finish capping off a few more sprinklers and then we'll be doing a test run. All right, it's a few days later. 
Let's go ahead and click on the trees. 10 minutes. And the valves should be turning on. Let's make it work over there. So here is the first tree. And there you have it, Cindy. Can you confirm if that's water? Yeah. All right. Cindy approves. We got some good water here. Oh, Cindy, got water? Yep, yes we do. We have water here. We have uh, a berry here that is also being irrigated. Tree number three, and wow, look at this cool guy. I've been away for a few days and some mushroom came out. Well, let's leave them there, Cindy. Let's see, water? Is there water here? Yes, we have water. Tree number four would be the apple tree. I'm proud to share that we actually are getting some baby apples already. We're in April. And here is the fourth tree. And we have water coming out as well. And I'll give you a little close up of the final product back here. And all four of them are going, with the exception of one. The cap is still remaining, and that is it, guys. If you guys like what you see, like, subscribe, and I'll show you some future videos. Oh, here's uh, Lily joining us. Hey, good morning. Hey, Lily. You guys want to maybe get off the bed?